Now I want to tell you a story about, about President Trump, and I think it illustrates the difference between the character of the two candidates, because the media, you know, lies obsessively, of course, about President Trump, but I actually think that there's something really important that I learned about him a few weeks ago, and that was after the second assassination attempt. Now, we all saw the first assassination attempt. He raises his hand in the air and says, fight, fight, fight. I was, I was inspired by that. I think that everybody here was the act of defiance in the face of an assassin's bullet. But a few weeks after that, after a second assassination attempt, the president called me and told me what had just happened. And you know, I said, oh, oh my God, sir, are you okay? Clearly you're physically okay, but are, you know, that's a traumatic thing to happen, a second assassination attempt in as many months. And he says, yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm kind of pissed off though, because I was going to make a birdie on the sixth hole and the Secret Service wouldn't let me finish. And you know, it, it kind of occurred to me in that moment that that's the kind of person you want in the Oval Office when the world goes to hell. Because you never know how somebody's going to react under a moment of crisis until you actually see their response under that moment of crisis. And you've got Kamala Harris who runs from the friendly American media. Can we trust that person to negotiate for us with Vladimir Putin, the leader of Russia, Xi Jinping, the leader of China? No, of course we can't. Because she can't even talk to the friendly American media. She sure as hell can't be trusted to negotiate on our behalf on the world stage. But you know who I do trust? The guy who took a second assassination attempt with good humor and didn't lose his cool and went back to work the very next day, that's who we want doing the American people's business. Now, I know the president has sacrificed, of course, a lot in the name of public service, but also his family has sacrificed a lot in the name of public service. And so